Welcome back to another Ollie Guns video, Guns Contractors, it's my company, and I want to talk you through um, today uh, replacement tracks for your machine. There's an awful lot out there, and they vary hugely in price as well. Um, so for ease of discussion, I'll talk about it on my 8026 that I own and run here. Um, and I'll talk you through uh, the original tracks that were on this machine snapped about 2000 hours um, and what I ended up replacing them with. So I still have the original JCB um, track here. This is a section of it. I cut it into sections. So it was easy to get home um, at the time where it broke because of course they never break in the yard. Do they? they break in the mud and the crap um, right when you're trying to do a job. So you can kind of see what happened. It, it, um, it was a very, very sandy site and the sand was quite wet and it all got bunged up in the sprockets and basically ended up ripping the track apart. Now, if the wires, you can see the tracks made of these, these wires here um, that run all the way around, they run all the way around the, you know, the whole track. Um, they obviously had got fatigued. Now that can happen through having uh, cuts in the track. Um, the water gets in, they rust, you know, you start breaking a few and you've got a weak point, haven't you? And you have a, a situation like I did where um, the track's being sort of held under under tension because there's excess dirt in it. Um, and it just, it just basically exploded, it gave up. Um, some of which you can see had frayed and some of which you can see had sort of rusted previously. So um, this is a 250 mil wide track, which comes on this uh, 8026 standard. And you probably see I've upgraded to a 300 mil track, which is more common um, for a, a machine of this size. And I think that'll also help with, with strength overall. Um, but anyway, what I replaced it with were these Camso um, tracks, which I got from Digbits in the UK. Um, they've been really, really nice. I'd heard a lot of things and I'd bought cheaper tracks before for my 8015, for example. And, you know, 10 years on, they're not looking too good bit of perishing happening um they haven't suffered cuts very well and also when you tracked they were they were quite lumpy sounds stupid but these have been just like oem tracks and camso um i think i think i'm right in saying they're part of the michelin group or they're certainly part of one of the big tire manufacturers um and they their their um industrial um you know arm is called camso and they make these tracks. Um, they had them in stock, which was nice because of course you've broken them on a job and you need new tracks because you can't move no tracks. Um, JCB quoted me because they reckoned I had some odd size on my 8026 because it was a, an, early, an early one. Um, they quoted me something like six weeks. Uh, it wasn't gonna happen. So uh, Digbits came in and had it to me, well, not quite in six hours, but certainly um, within a day or, or two days, I think, maximum. And it was over a weekend, so that was a bit awkward. Um, I mean, I've suffered a little bit of uh, cuts and things from them because it's a track and it goes out and does a job. Um, but generally, they have, they've survived very well. I've got little gashes there. They're, they're the kind of things that you can end up, um, you know, getting into the wires and then they start to rot. But They've been very, very good, these tracks, and they've done a lot of tracking as well. Um, they've worn well, um, done about, they must have done over, I don't know, to a 1300 hours or something like that. So um, I've got no problem with them doing another, that kind of amount at all. Um, the wider width of them really helped. Uh, and yeah, just really wanted to make a bit of a video on um, when you get your tracks, there are very many different brands to choose from and, and by no means are, um, when I say, you know, Digbits or Camso are the best, not saying that at all, but my experience with owning these um, has been very good. So I would recommend them um, as a brand for your machine. They're as smooth as OEM tracks um, in my experience and they seem to be lasting pretty well on this machine. Uh, I think, yeah not halfway through their life yet. So uh, got every confidence they'll do another um, 1500 hours, no problem. So that was it really. Um, don't be fooled necessarily by cheap tracks um, unless you're going to be selling the machine or are really desperate because um, they, they, there's a lot of a lot to a track and these ones have been, uh, these ones have been very good to me. So that's it really, a bit of a short video, just thought I'd, uh, I'd say what I was running and, and why it changed. And I thought I found the old track the other day and thought, oh, that'll make a, a nice little video. Um, 
yeah, there was a lot of swearing when that broke, because obviously you can imagine I was stuck, stuck in the middle of a wood. Um, so even changing it was hard work, because you can't really move the digger very easily with no track on it. Um, <laughs> there you go, we live and learn, don't we? Um, thanks for watching. Um, please keep, uh, keep subscribing if you like this kind of content, and uh, I have another video very soon. Thank you very much.